English lessons. Hello and welcome to today's mini English lesson. In this lesson, we will be looking at inversion. Never have I heard of inversion, you may say. And I can understand that very well. Inversion means you change the normal order of things. And when we talk about language, usually this means we invert the subject and the verb placement. For example, in statements, we have the order of subject and verb. For example, they can swim. When we change this to a question, you may know that the subject and verb change position. Can they swim? Now, there are three other types of inversion that I would like to talk to you about today. The first one you may already use, um, even though you're not aware of it. For example, here comes the bus. Or, I walked into the room and there stood John. So in these examples, we use here and there to refer to places. And in that case, we use inversion. A second example is when we start a sentence with not followed by a prepositional phrase or a clause. For example, not for a moment did I believe his lies. Or not until I came into the room did I realize what a mess they had made. In both situations, you can see inversion is happening again. A third example, and this one is often used in more formal language, is when we want to stress a negative adverb, such as never or seldom. For example, I have never seen such a beautiful painting, would with inversion become never have I seen such a beautiful painting. Now, here's one for you to try. If I say I have never heard such a bad excuse, can you use inversion and start this sentence with never? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you get that? Never have I heard such a bad excuse. So this lesson, just to recap, we looked at three different ways in which we use inversion in the English language. When we use here or there at the start of the sentence, here comes the bus, there stood John. Or when we use not plus a prepositional phrase or a clause, not for a moment did I believe his lies. And the third one we looked at was when we start a sentence with a negative adverb. For example, seldom have I seen such a beautiful painting. Now, I hope you remember these three different kinds of inversion and you can start using them today. Good luck to you.